I spy with my little eye. I try to have it all, but I didn't know why. I sit here and stare. What more can I do? I didn't want one. I had to have two. We need to talk. Who's Teresa? What? How? How'd I know? You took my phone. I love you too. Look, I can't believe you would take my phone. I'm glad I did. You got a text at 12.43. You're with me at 12.43. In bed. Hey, Luca, sir, please listen. I'm done listening. Luca. Let me explain. I met two people this year. Luca. He's the sweetest guy you could ever think to meet. He's Mr. Society. He follows the rules. After getting a degree from Cambridge in economics, he worked in an orphanage for two years in Thailand as he wanted to do something meaningful. He now works in Hong Kong for a bank that deals largely with international charity relations. He plans to get married before 30, have three beautiful but mischievous children, retire to Australia and grow old and die. Then you have Teresa, the party girl, cares about social status, drinking and having fun. Teresa left home at 17 and moved to Hong Kong in what was a roll of the dice, flip of the coin sort of decision. But it worked. She loved it. She's been to prison once. I'm talking to you. This is important. She spent three months there in cell number eight. Now 23, she bartends and with the exception of a better understanding of the social clockwork, she's not much different from before. Do you want to know why I stole your phone? Why? Because for some strange reason, I wanted to change your ringtone as our song. Babe. I thought it'd be romantic. Then your phone beeped. Teresa, hey, I'm coming to yours at around seven. Funny that, seeing as you're meant to be working late that night. He really was the sweetest guy. I first met him through a friend. They fixed us up on a date and it was pretty awkward, but hey. I thought I'd see how it went. So, you don't want children, huh? It's not that I don't like them, I just see them as very complicated. <laughs> wow, you really want kids, huh? <laughs> yeah, well, since I was a kid I've always wanted children. Knowing that I've given life to someone would... Yeah? It'd be amazing. Being <laughs> softy. He really was the sweetest guy. I'm sorry. You said it was over. I know, it's just... Come on, what are you taking me for? Well, what were you expecting? We would get married and have three kids and live in Australia or something. What? Well, it, it's just... You know what? I was changing who I was for you. This is obviously just for fun. But it was all fun. I don't know if I'd say just for fun, but Teresa was different. It could be fun and serious at the same time. I met her when I was already dating Luca. You are right there? Just looking for stuff. What kind of stuff? Anything. In a bush? Yeah, in a bush. How come? Well, the way I see it, the sort of people who climb over fences to say not to are the sort of people who do things before they think. Trying to impress boyfriends, girlfriends, mates and stuff. She was fresh and exciting. Those sort of impulsive people don't usually check things, like their pockets, for example. I wanted her. Hence, me in a bush. It makes absolute sense. I quite liked her. She was so different to Luca, though. She seemed not to care about the rules and live in the moment, not always planning the future. The opposite to him, almost. Are you really that bothered I'm still seeing him? I sit here and stare. What more can I do? I didn't want one. I had to have two. And that's how I got here. Both of them, screaming at me and screaming at each other. I liked them both. I did. I wanted to choose. But is it too late? They're both so different. One of them loves rules, the other pisses all over them. Could I save my relationship with either of them? Or could I just... leave?
In a bush. Yeah, in wow, a bush. Really work, it's up. Well, the way I see it, sort of people who yeah. kind of offend well, to say not to, and sort of people mentioned. who do things before they no. think. Then you have Chile. Yeah, he now works in Hong Kong for a bank. The deal is largely with international yeah. charity social relations. status, drinking and having fun. He plans to get married before 30, have three Good beautiful and mischievous oh. children, oh. retire to Australia and grow old and die. Well, what were you expecting? We would get married and have three kids and live in Australia or something. So, you don't want to. I know it's probably... But you're the I knew it was probably too late, but the more I thought about it, the more I realised that I didn't want my future planned. I liked the spontaneity, I liked the freshness and the fun, I liked not knowing what each day held. I spy with my little eye, I tried to have it all but I didn't care why. I stand here and stare, what more can I do? I tried to pick one, but they were a two.